Hey guys, welcome back. From this video onwards, I want to start a new playlist related to 5 GPU CCH. Mm, so, all the concepts related to 5 GPU CCH like short format, long format, uh, and its applications, and some tricky concepts, all of these things I will try to bring in this particular uh, uh, playlist. Mainly in this video, I want to talk about one important tricky concept that is when we have two bits of or attack information and one bit of SR information, how this total three bits is transmitted in PUCCH long format 1 where it, where it can accommodate uh, maximum 2 bits. Okay, this is the thing which uh, we need to understand because um, sometimes uh, um, this will be very much helpful to uh, very much helpful to uh, debug uh, some of the uplink um, issues. Okay, so maybe the PUCCH would be uh, DTX and in which case we would be wondering why it is getting TTX and things like that but if you know this concept uh, maybe you can solve some of the uh, issues uh, related to this okay so now for this what I will do I will get into the OFDM grid and some of the TGPP concepts uh, to explain this okay so here uh, uh, here we have this OFDM grid so what I have considered is I have considered total 14 symbols in this OFDM grid and in the Y axis I am considering 12 PRBs. Okay, each of this box you can think that it is a 1 PRB and total we have 12 PRB. So now let us take uh, the format 1. Okay, this is a format 1. Format 1 um, usually occupies uh, 1 PRB as per specification. And uh, for now I have taken an example of 14 symbols. It, it occupies all the 14 symbols. And uh, as I was telling, max 2 bits can be transmitted using uh, format 1. Okay, this is uh, max uh, UCI, UCI bits. So it, it can even it can even transmit one bit of information. So now as per specification and uh, uh, and as per G node base um, schedule, uh, scheduling uh, strategy, what uh, what will be done is add to G node B Mac or L2 layer. Since G node B is the master, it will decide what all PRBs can be made as dedicated SR resources. What can what all PRBs can be made as just uh, our CACNAC resources. So for now I have considered that uh, 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 can be dedicated SR resources, 5 or 6 or 7 uh, can be taken as our CACNAC resources. So now we will see how the SR and our CACNAC information is conveyed to G0B and we will also see how G0B will try to uh, decode them. So the first thing is Okay, we can take one combination that is first combination is uh, our CACNAC can be just one bit, right? And uh, let's say there is no SR. So, since this is one bit, uh, this will be performed with the BBSK modulation uh, and uh, it will be transmitted, right? But, but which resources uh, will be used for the transmission of this combination? Since there is no SR, this uh, should use um, the dedicated or CACNAC uh, uh, resources. So in this case, uh, it can be um, 5 or 6 or 7. Any of uh, these uh, PRBs uh, would be used. Okay, then I think uh, you got the uh, clarity. Um, so for next, uh, I will go to the second uh, case that is or CACNAC. Yeah, so I mean similarly, uh, we can take or CACNAC 2 bits. So, so and, and no SR, okay. So, which means this two bits undergoes QPSK modulation and what resources can be used? Again, uh, five or six or seven, any of these PRBs would be used. Okay, I think uh, you got these two, um, these two combinations. So, now we can go to the third combination that is or CACNAC, okay. So, this or CACNAC can be just one bit, okay, and um, I would say there is an SR, SR is positive. So you can say that total 2 bits because SR, uh, SR requires 1 bit. Uh, uh, so you can say total 2 bits but actually in this case still this will be considered as 1 bit and um, a BPSK modulation would be done. And how is this conveyed? This is conveyed by allocating uh, this particular uh, combination to those PRBs that are dedicated for SR transmission. Uh, so, for example, in this case, it, it could be one or second or third or fourth PRB. So, any of these PRBs would be used. Okay. So, similarly, if you have or ACNAC uh, two bits and SR, so it, this is not considered as total three bits. 
this will be still considered as two bits and the QPSQ modulation would be done and this will also again use the same dedicated SR resource okay now I will just showcase uh, the case number one okay so in this case or cat -NAC we have and this uses either five or six or seven so let's say seven so in this seven um, you will see that or cat -NAC, uh, uh, information is sent and since it is sent on those resources that are dedicated only for or cat -NAC, at g node b it will identify that there is no sr okay so let us go to the fourth combination in this case as well um, you know it will occupy one prb and then since there is an sr it can use any of so let's say it uses second prb for transmission and when g node b at the g node b side on the second prb uh, when it identifies that um, there is a good signal okay uh, so with good signal means non dtx uh, then and if uh, an information is decoded and if crc is okay um, then uh, then what happens um, g node b identifies that there is an uh, sr information so sr is positive in this case okay i got uh, i mean i think you got uh, um, these concepts and how g node b also gets to know whether there is an sr or not um, but uh, try to try to note that whether these PRBs are related to or CACNAC or whether these PRBs are related to uh, uh, dedicated SR resource, uh, the L1 layer will not know this information. L1 is completely agnostic to this. Only it will be known to the G node B L2 layer. Okay. I hope uh, you got this uh, concept uh, uh, very well. Um, so usually this kind of uh, understanding uh, uh, is uh, required for uh, even uh, the people who are working in physical layer because uh, uh, if there are issues in your uh, uh, uplink transmissions that uh, your PUCCH for format 1 or DTX okay so if they are DTX and and if you if you are wondering uh, and one of the reasons could be uh, because of uh, uh, these allocations or because of uh, uh, this kind of concept so so if you know uh, how this sr information is conveyed um, via this format one then um, you could solve some of the um, uplink uh, pucch format one resources which are dtx so that's why i wanted to bring in this uh, concept i hope it is very much clear to all of you um, if there are any questions you can post it in the comment uh, section um, thank you very much. Please do subscribe to the channel. Um, have a great day. I will try to bring in more concentrated views in the upcoming videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.